Hello, you're Kirsten Kuzel, and you're professor of limnology at the Friedrich Schiller University in Jena, in Germany. That's great. So, thank you for accepting this interview. Can you quickly describe your career path and what you're currently working on? Yes, of course. So, I never really planned to become a professor in, in limnology. So, actually, I started as a gardener. <laughs> And I was working in a plant nursery for two years because my plan was to, to study a subject which is called more like the landscape ar architecture. But then I changed and then I wanted to uh, really, I was aware of a new study program, a very interdisciplinary study program, which is called Geoecology. So I got very interested in that and started in Bayreuth. Uh -huh. And uh, my main subject were hydrology, geochemistry and also soil science. And I got more and more interested also in the role of microbes in biogeochemical cycles. Mm -hmm. And after my master thesis, I really thought I should really go to microbiology and understood instead really uh, what microbes are, are doing mm -hmm. outside. Mm -hmm. So I was looking for a PhD position and turned out that a professor from, from the States came to an uh, institute in Bayreuth for terrestrial ecosystem research and he was looking for students and he had a very interna international group. So when I joined as one of his first PhD students there and uh, this was a very good choice. Yeah. So I also enjoyed that, that he is, um, the Americans have a little bit different style of doing yeah. research and mm -hmm. I really appreciate this a lot. And so I did uh, learn a lot about microbiology, physiology, microbial processes. And in the end, he offered me a habilitation position. And that's a big step. So, and then I really had to think about, do I really want to become a professor mm -hmm. <laughs> or not? Yeah. So, but I thought that's what, uh, it, uh, I could really feel that I really enjoy doing the research, also the, the freedom, and I was really caught by a lot of processes. So I thought yes. I could ever do it, I would try. Okay. So I did more of that and then I did a, a postdoc in the States for some time okay. to learn molecular microbiology. Mm -hmm. did this in the Environmental Protection Agency in uh, Gulf Breeze in Florida with okay. Richard Devereaux. Mm -hmm. He was one of the leading uh, scientists at this time with phylogenetics and making probes, doing fish and yeah. these kinds of things. And then I came back and finished my habilitation and then I got the offer for getting uh, the leadership of uh, limnology in Jena. So okay. uh, since 2004 I'm in, in Jena now. Okay, I see. And what, what are you working right now? What are you working on right now? So I have uh, the group for limnology, so okay. the study of lakes. And okay. it's good with my background because I'm a hydrologist, yes. so I can study lakes. But I really try to combine uh, limnology or other science or geoscience with microbiology because that's my, my main background uh -huh. to understand the role of bacteria in the lakes and uh, my special focus is in the sediments because I really want the more the geo interaction mm. So, mm -hmm. so if you describe my research area it would be aquatic geomicrobiology okay. so we are studying microbial processes in the uh, sediments of the lakes or in aquifers or in streams, how they form minerals, how they can dissolve minerals mm. okay. um, yeah. with a strong focus on iron cycling. Mm. So what did you most enjoy in your career so far and what did you least enjoy as well? So uh, I really enjoy to go to field sites, so yeah. I'm a field person <laughs> and that I have the luxury to go to different kinds of field sites, to go to lakes and to really have a boat on, on the lake. And, and also, I really enjoy the interaction with my students. Yes. So, and uh, I really appreciate when they come to my office and have to tell me interesting new stories, what they could figure out in the lab. And this will also keep me, get me out of the office. Oh. So I mm. do not appreciate so much my administration load. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and when they are coming, so then I have a chance to go to the lab to look at their new isolates or their yeah. new Yes. So that's I really enjoy most, and also the new directions. Um, they, um, if they figure out something new, so then we really think about uh, including new techniques and we start new collaborations. And mm -hmm. Jena is a really good place to do that. They have okay. a very strong background to uh, a big faculty in geosciences. Yes. So I have a good cooperation partners now. Mm. Also, we have the Max Planck Institute for Biogeochemistry mm. mm. with a new mm. director, Susan Trumbo, there, and we have mm. started a very, very fruitful co collaborations. Okay. Talking about the role of um, women 
female geoscientist in the community. How do you think it has changed during your career? And what, think, uh, what is missing today? <laughs> I think it has changed a lot. Yes. So when I started, there was no female professor at my university in geosciences. Really? So there was just one on the way to become a professor. Okay. And of course, all the female students in my <laughs> really tried to get to her to come. Yes. A student of her. Yes, yes. And she, yeah, and of course, I had very high expectations that she should support all the female scientists, yes, but I think course. she was struggling so much in the men's world. Yeah. <laughs> there was not so much time. So, and, and now when you look around, there are much more women in the field. And mm -hmm. it's very good, I think, also for the students to see that we have a broader diversity now of role models. Mm -hmm. It's not just this role model. You can mm -hmm. really they see different lifestyles, that there are a lot of opportunities and also to combine mm. your, your scientific life with, with family life or whatever. Mm -hmm. So you see mm -hmm. all kinds of, of lifestyles. Yes. And I think that's really important yes. also for the students. Definitely. So this year and earlier today actually, mm -hmm. uh, you have received the EAG Eminent Speaker Distinction. What does it mean to you? Oh, to be honest, it's my first. <laughs> yes, <laughs> well, yeah. congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Good, so I was very happy. And uh, for me, it also it, uh, shows me that uh, I finally made some, some impact in the mm -hmm. field of geosciences. So because it's really, I really like to, to bridge between the disciplines, between microbiology and the geosciences, which is sometimes not so easy. Mm -hmm. So we have mm -hmm. very strong hierarchies and very old traditions in both disciplines. And <laughs> And really to see that, that there is um, more uh, awareness or appreciation of, of interdisciplinarity in our field. I, I okay. really appreciate that. Mm. So. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Uh, and finally, last question, what advice would you give to junior researchers? To junior researchers, I think it's really important to enjoy what they are doing. So mm -hmm. if they, you have to really love science or something it has to fascinate you and then it's I think it's the best job on earth because you have so much freedom so you nobody mm. can stop you if you want to really find out how this works it's it's up to you if you reach a certain level or when you have an own group you can do what what you want uh -huh. and I think that's that's a real luxury okay and um, yeah you have to figure out what's best for you and I think uh, you should also look around and don't try to copy somebody. So yes. it's, it's uh, be yourself and, and think about if you want to spend all the day just doing research, it's good if you're happy. If not, then do spend some time with other hobbies. So yes. <laughs> with your children. So it's, it's, it's really, you have a lot of options. Okay. So. okay. Well, thank you very much for your start, for your time. Good. Thank, thank you. you. <laughs>